Hello and welcome to Redbrook Gaming's reaction to Nintendo Switch. I'm Nick Burton, a gaming contributor for the section, joined by... Uh, James Marvin. And um, James Lechner, also a gaming editor for the section. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to talk about Nintendo Switch. So what is the Nintendo Switch, guys? Um, well, it's Nintendo's new console, isn't it? They revealed it, like, what was it, two weeks ago? Yeah, about now, um, yeah. Roughly. Yeah, um, with, like, mean, a five-minute long trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we talked a bit about it on the podcast, and, like, um, it, it looks all right to me. Like as a like that's, that's the most I can say, mate. Like it looks all right. I, it's the most hyped I've been for a Nintendo thing, but you know, whatever. I, I'm I'm quite looking forward to. It. I think uh, the premise is just an improved version of the Wii U, and I think if done properly, it can be an absolutely fantastic thing. It's, 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 like Nintendo is an innovator; they do things a bit differently than everyone else, and I think this looks really, really promising. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, so it's their their idea of a home gaming console with a handheld thing as well. So like. The, the you know normal home go, home gaming console and then you plug in the controllers uh, from the sort of main yeah. controller uh, called the Joy Cons and then you lift the screen out of the console and there's your handheld device. Um, I think it's a really great idea actually. I've actually sort of had this dream uh, for this sort of console for a very long time. You know I've I spoke to my brother many years ago about oh wouldn't it be great if you could just just take out Fallout 3 out of your Xbox or PS3 and just take it on the go. I think this is actually a really deep-rooted uh, desire for a lot of gamers, um, even if maybe a lot of them aren't saying that at the moment. But obviously it also depends on specs and things like that. But we'll move on to that later. So, um, yeah, are we interested in purchasing it? When it when it comes out, uh, which March 2017, release date to be announced. March? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Is that it's March? Yeah, so yeah. Like, at least that's... Uh, that's it's it's actually, like yeah, it's, months, uh, it? it's they usually reveal consoles a lot like a lot sooner before they're yeah they've definitely I think they've looked at things like Fallout 4 and been like maybe we should do that with hardware mm. um, but yeah it's, it's a it was a very late um, yeah. reveal trailer for definite yeah. it's only like five months away isn't it yeah March. Not yeah literally years. and yeah and I, I didn't know it was that close <laughs> like I didn't know they were to be fair they did actually year, announce but... what it was It was called the N NX for like what a year and a half yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah and Eurogamer basically leaked it and Nintendo said nothing right. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. well you knew it was coming it was yeah. like, Works well on time, the NX so. was such a good name, wasn't it? I, I quite like the NX. Yeah. I, think, yeah. like, I think if they just kept it as the NX, I think the Nintendo Switch is a bit more. Uh, it's a bit more trendy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think I think the name will grow on us. Like, you remember when the Wii was first announced? Yeah, it can't it can't get worse than. Nah, Wii the Wii is still a terrible name. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 I like the Wii. I thought it was yeah. yeah. So so <laughs> anyway, back to the question. Yeah. So are we going to get it day one? Will I, I get will, yeah. day one? Yeah. Really? I honestly, having not played the Wii U generation of games right. and missed out on Wii U Smash and Wii and Mario Kart Eight, Eight, is it? Yeah. And all of these Mario and all of these games that I would have wanted to play, it's just I didn't want to get a Wii U. Yeah, I would probably get. I probably didn't want it. Just, so just how many get back to Nintendo? How many people do you think, L James, that <laughs> will are in your situation? Uh. I, I don't know. I think a lot of people that were big Nintendo fans anyway would have done the opposite of what I did and just got a Switch, even though it was not a great console, right. in my so, opinion. So we, we can... We can no, not a, a Switch, sorry, a Wii U. They would right. have just got a Wii U. So we, we can almost assume that the hardcore Nintendo fans will purchase yeah, the Nintendo Yeah, they'll, they'll buy it anyway. It's but just... Nintendo hardcore fans buy anything with the name Nintendo on it. Pretty well, much. They'll buy, they'll buy an iteration of a Zelda game that's pretty much the same thing that was released in 1996. But right. yeah. yeah. Well, so you, you do get that with every... Nintendo's formula hasn't bunched an inch in about 30 years. It's just if you like what they make, you're like pretty yeah, much any game you, they sure. make. You get that with every like console manufacturer. I think I know a bunch of people who like still bought the Xbox One, even though when Microsoft made all those terrible decisions at the start, they were like, oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of people that still day one, on yeah, still day one the Xbox One. Yeah, yeah fair. I think that's fine if they keep doing what they do best, but I think they need the third party support that they've announced along with the trailer because. I don't think you can buy a console just for mate basically first party games. That's not a great investment for me anyway. Yeah. I think I would get enough of them that it would be a decent investment for me, but that's just someone yeah, speaking enough. of someone who enjoys but Fire Emblem. I, I, I don't play Fire Emblem. All of these things. Oh, Fire Emblem's a great series. I'm, I could rave about Fire Emblem for a, a video entirely. But it's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, I feel like um, it depends on the price. Do you know what I mean? Like, I have a PS4 and I have a laptop that can run all the kind of indie PC games that I want to play. My gaming like 
spectrum is covered by what I already own, essentially. Yeah. yeah. But if it comes in at a decent price, I'm, like, I'm going to say, like, what's, what's like a decent price? 200, 250 quid? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, can't I, I, I think 300 quid. 300 quid? I, don't I, think, know. I think when is I got it, PS4 on first release, it was about 250 or something. I can't remember. No, I think it's 350, yeah, I think. Was it? Yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't remember, but I remember getting it with Shadowfall and one controller or something for relatively affordable. And I was like, Do you mean, uh, what, sh- is that Shadow? Is yeah, it called Sh- Killzone. Killzone Shadow. Right. Four, which wasn't the best game, but yeah. well, actually it was a bit, pretty shit game to be quite honest. It was yeah. a graphical showcase. It was but, yeah, um, it was a graphic. It was showing off what the hardware was. They need they need a moment like E three at Sony when they said like the PS four is significantly cheaper than the old competitor. Mm. Yeah, and they get that uproar moment. If they said like at most edging on 300 I reckon see one thing that made the Wii people. so universal was not just the family aspect and all the games and the motion controls and it was a really good party element but it was also the fact that I think the console even on release was what £180 oh yeah we yeah, yeah, we, we, really and that's probably, what made yeah. it sell so much I think well it help, it I remember that Christmas where the Wii came out it came out in November or the November or something before and that Christmas the Wii's were pretty much unbuyable like they were sold out in that's right so I remember that, yeah, my, my, that, family, yeah. my family picked up a Wii just for the shits and giggles basically because mm. it was that cheap I remember, yeah, I, I remember we were lucky because yeah. I got the Wii for Christmas, but we got it for like, it was like the last Wii available in the store or something. We got really goddamn lucky because it just sold out so well because it's a great thing for the family. It's, it, it, play, it appeals to age demographics of both old and young people and it's affordable. And I believe Nintendo is probably going to try for that aspect again with the Switch because their mass market ability is what Nintendo does so well. No, I agree. I think... Um... They sell all their hardware because they appeal to all ages, pretty much. Um, even though, obviously, they specialise in young ages, like mm. all, well, most, you know, gaming uh, companies, I think, yeah, the, the, the DS, the 3DS is sold because of the Oh, yeah, the kids are a large part of the market for it, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because so they look at all these independent properties they've got. They've got the Mario games and the Pokemons and all these. Zelda. Uh, the Pokemons. <laughs> the Pokemon and all that. They, the are, like, they, apply, they apply very much uh, to, to the younger age demographic, but they're still good for older people. Yeah, older yeah, players. yeah. So what do you think this means for the next three or four years for Nintendo? So so what I mean by this is, will they do what Sony and Microsoft are doing um, in terms of, will they release a new console in two years, the Switch 1.5, or will mm. they release a Switch 2? I think it's unlikely. Because yeah. the Wii U wasn't so much uh, a Wii 1.5, more as their attempt of taking the console a bit somewhere different. And it wasn't, I believe the Wii came out in what, 2008 or so? 2007? I think it was 6. Was it that really? I, I think. It was 2000... Well, uh, I'll Google it. 2007, maybe I'm thinking. Christ. But uh, I feel old now. <laughs> yeah, but and then the Wii U wasn't released until what easily five, six years after that. I'm thinking. So I honestly don't think they will. I honestly, I think Do you know what, unless I, it unless they can make a significant hardware advancement to it, I don't think they will. I don't think they'll they'll care basically because it seems like the Switch kind of literally taken Nintendo out out of that mainstream mm. cycle kind of thing. The Christmas of 2006. 2006, yeah, okay. Jeez. But yeah, that, it, the, the release of the Switch, say, because the Switch is launching in March then, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. So March next year. It'll be, so, it'll be March of 2017. I feel like Nintendo is completely out of sync with Microsoft and Sony's cycles, so I don't think they'll care. But I think that works do... in their favour. Yeah, it's not. Because whenever, it does. whenever yeah. Microsoft and Sony release their consoles, the Xbox and the PlayStation, they're always in direct competition. So obviously they're, they're splitting the, the the potential consumers straight straight down the middle or in large tents. I think this year it was, it was more of a lean towards the PlayStation 4 this time around. But Nintendo never have that. Nintendo have the people that want to buy that console don't need to think, oh, do I need to buy the PlayStation 4 or do I need to buy the Xbox One? They think, oh, do I have the money to buy a uh, Nintendo Switch? Do I want a Nintendo Switch? Yes, no, it's a lot more of a simple thing. Yeah, it's also like because obviously... Let's be honest, like you own an Xbox, don't you, Nick? And I have I PS4. do. I have an Xbox yeah. One, a beautiful, <coughs> beautiful console. Yeah, we have the, we both have the competing consoles. Literally yeah. right in front of you. And James has an yeah, yeah, James PS4, has PS4 right in front as well. Of my face. Um, but I think we can agree that really, there's not that much difference between them, is there? Oh no! Look, like, the Xbox, like you said in the like, podcast, plug. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, um, the PS4 and the Xbox One are slowly going towards yeah. the PC, so. and there's nothing. Like you know, PS4 is a bit more powerful, um, and you know Xbox has better mod support and stuff like that. And obviously there are different exclusives, but um, like that, those are the three little things that are different between what I own and what Nick owns, yeah, and what you own, James. Um, and like the um, the fact that Nintendo they're they're sold on basically the unique features basically, and yeah. coming in half through a cycle won't affect them because people will be like, oh, that idea sounds cool. I might pick one up. Yeah, I agree so. with you, um, M. James. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So, 
I do, yeah. So, um, issues with the Switch, more information. I think basically we just need more information on the I don't have about. huge issues. To be honest, if they can, even if they came out and said the hardware specs were slightly lower than all people like, people are already starting to complain about the, the hardware specs. You'll always get people to complain. Like that. Yeah. I honestly don't make it a difference because it doesn't make a difference to me because at the end of the day, I'll quite happily play a game in 780p resolution or whatever, provided I get to play the games I want to play. So Yeah, yeah for it's me. Not a huge, it's not a huge determining factor. For me, it's uh, the same problems like I mentioned on the podcast, just that battery life. Will the third party support remain? Because uh, we saw it with the Wii U that it collapsed after a few months. Yeah. Um, and you know, do you know Mass Effect Three was on the Wii U? Was it? Yeah, really? apparently. Well, Arkham Origins was on the Wii U as well, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. That game that it was, like, it was denied like, to it was like deny a, existence of. It was like a special edition, I think, with like some weird like uh, hand-to-hand combat motion thing. I don't know oh, what it was. Okay, right. But it was it, it was, was a PlayStation <laughs> Move. Yeah. What? No, do I? What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like my conclusion with the Switch is basically. Looks all right, but I need to know more. I need I need to know more to quell my concerns. Well, that'll concerns. definitely be coming in the coming yeah. months, won't it? Okay, the game doesn't release till March. No, I imagine. But it's definitely yeah. New, next really press release up. January twenty seventh. Yeah. I, I think well, there's a date, but yeah. One hundred percent is a step in the right direction because I'm actually yeah, interested in a Nintendo console once more. So yeah, I think if the console's right and they have the third party support. Then I can play the Nintendo games, and, like, and that's cool. <laughs> God knows yeah. their share prices could do with the bump after the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, that's true. To be fair, didn't their shares go up? Their shares went up massively for Pokemon Go. But yeah. then didn't they go down they again when down they realised they, realized they, they didn't actually make it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smart because people. It's by like Nantic and Nantic. Yeah. Nintendo's been on a very <laughs> downward spiral for the last few years, but I think this is their time to pick well, it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I, th- I think they put their eggs in one basket with the Wii U and it just didn't pay out in the way mm. that they wanted yeah, it to. Yeah, I want, I want them to succeed. I, I, to be honest though, I mean, I'm actually going through some Wii games that I never played that are apparently brilliant, and I started playing Super Mario Galaxy 2, yeah, and I thoroughly respect and appreciate everything it does, but for me right now, I'm just not looking for 3D platformers. Mm. Um, I, I don't know why, I'm just... I just I just played them throughout my childhood and now I just don't think Nintendo games appeal to me unless they do something more than just the Nintendo aspect. Well, yeah, as I, as I said, Nintendo's in their format for their their Mario platformers and their Zelda games. They they haven't bunched it like budged an inch in thirty years. So that they honestly, if you played one game from thirty years ago, you've essentially played the new game. It's just they improve on the aspects like the story and the graphics and the gameplay and stuff like this. Those are all better. Yes, it's just the the general premise. Like every Zelda game, you're going to be collecting three plot devices to go to the next part of the plot and this dungeon with a boss. There'll be a water dungeon. There'll be a forest dungeon. They don't change these things. Yeah. These things are always the same. Yeah. I know one thing that would make me buy. I just thought. Because obviously it runs on cartridges, this one, doesn't it? Which is weird in yeah. 2016. Yeah, I think it's like a nice little throwback. Yeah. But, you know. but like the little <laughs> ones, aren't they? The little cartridges. And what <laughs> does the Nintendo DS run on? Cartridges. Yeah. yeah. If they said to me, yeah, you can play all the Nintendo 3DS games oh, on it as well. Oh, man. Yeah. 3DS? Yeah. All the, yeah. Like, DS or 3DS. Oh, yeah, that would be that's brilliant. Good if you could play all that of would them be brilliant. and then all. Well, I mean, I think... I that's, think that's like sideways yeah. compatibility, isn't it? Not backwards I did invest in 3DS, yeah. so that would be quite cool for me. I yeah. think um, all the consoles should actually go towards complete backwards compatibility. I should, I think I think this culture of keep repurchasing your game is ridiculous. Well then the the, the reason they don't and so I think it's a reason that they, none of them ever want maybe Nintendo will be a bit different because they don't tend to like follow this trend so much. But they know but if they offer backwards compatibility sales of their previous consoles plummet. Like it, it, when a PS4 came out if the PS4 was offering the ability to play PlayStation 3 games, no one would buy a PS3 anymore. But even when the PS4 comes out, there's still people buying PS3s. I mean, until as in console sales, the PS3. Yeah, until yeah but I, I think it's when you're ready to launch a new console. I think you should just discontinue. The yeah, completely. Completely. And 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 if it's super popular, um, and it will be more popular if it has backwards compatibility, because let's be honest, the Xbox and the sales of Xbox 360 games soared when it got a backwards compatibility was announced for it. Like Red Dead Redemption, as soon as that was announced, it was backwards compatibility. The sales went up like 3,000%. Mm. So um, I think, yeah. So And, and then if, if, if your new console is really popular, you just discontinue all the games of the old console anyway. 
You know what I mean? So yeah, I believe yeah, it's more of a gradual thing. But yeah, of I, course. I but like, we're tablet. still getting games on the PS3 and Xbox 360. So, so um, that was uh, Red Brick Gaming's reaction to the Nintendo Switch. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, like, share with all your friends and buddies. Yeah, all, um, that, all that basic plug stuff. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we also spoke about the Switch in length in our most recent podcast, which you can, I believe, it's podcast number four three, three, or three. three. Hashtag three. Yeah, pos- uh, podcast yeah. number three, which you can check out on. We our also YouTube discussed. Account. We also discussed Battlefield and Red Dead Redemption Two. And a bit yeah. of BlizzCon. So, uh, yeah, okay. some of these <laughs> topics we've touched on in this video. So, if you want yeah. to check any of that out, be sure to check out our podcast on our YouTube channel. Yeah, but basically, Nintendo Switch looks all right. Yeah, right. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm we're really excited for it. I think yeah. it's going to be good. I'm an optimist for it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you later. Cheers, guys.